Hi guys, recently I made a mount and stand for my smartphone so I can uh, shoot video. And uh, today I'm going to show you how you can easily make this stand and make the mount. And for those of you who are just looking for a mount to mount to a regular tripod, I'll show you how to adapt this mount to a regular tripod. So stick around, let's get started. First off, let's talk about the mount and how I made it so those people with a real tripod can get out of here. It's made from half inch pipe and uh, I bought for my full project a five foot piece of pipe. And if you're going to make just this mount, all you need is a two foot piece of half inch diameter pipe. The way you make it is, this is the only piece I have left, sorry, but uh, the way you make it is if this is the end and you got the rest of the pipe heading off this way make a cut in um, so that you're saving about one-third of the pipe and removing about two-thirds of the pipe and then make a second cut about 45 degrees in now this length here should be about two inches longer than the width of your cell phone mine's three inches so I made this cut in five inches deep Once you have the cutout, what you're going to do is you're going to heat up this top portion, your five inch section. And uh, with, I used a heat gun, but if you don't have a heat gun, you can just use a stove. So I heated it up and then I flattened it between two boards. Now, if you don't have uh, two boards, you can put it on the ground and um, flatten it with a pan or any other, any other flat object that you can get to hold it down while it cools. After you've cut that much of it and flattened it so it's sticking straight out, what you have to do is remove some of the material so that your phone will fit in nice and snug. Now I used a Dremel but you can use a file or um, if you don't have a file or a Dremel you can use something like a, a screwdriver with a piece of sandpaper on it. After I had this cut to the dimensions I wanted, what I did was I put my phone in it, I reheated the top portion of this plastic and I literally just bent it around the phone and then I put a pencil right in the top there and bent up the remainder around the top so that you end up with something that looks like that on the top and then that's what it looks like on the bottom, it will hold on to it. So after I've heated and bent this, held it around the pencil, um, it has pretty good clamping power, but what you want to do is just heat this portion of it just a little bit enough that you can bend this in about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch just to give it a little extra holding power. Now you can see that my phone will still slide into it. It's not overly clamped. Now I know some of you are asking how, are, how secure is this uh, and I'll leave that up to you. So now it's mounted in there. I think it's pretty secure and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's easy to remove um, and put back on. And the thing that I like or the things that I like about it is it doesn't touch any of the buttons on my phone. I have, uh, it doesn't block my, obviously the camera or the microphone, which is over here, or the speaker, and I still have access to my PowerPoint, as well as having full access to my, um, my camera equipment with all the, the menus and either take a picture or take a video. You can zoom in and out still. Now, if you want to make this or something similar to this and mount it to a tripod, simply get yourself an L bracket. This is a one and a half inch by one and a half inch L bracket. It's the perfect size because the nut for the tripod comes through this first hole down here and the little pin that's on some of the tripods comes up through this one. Then I, all I would do is I would take this and put it on in this configuration like that. I would drill one hole through the um, 
the top here, put a bolt all the way through and put either a wing nut or a nut on the back here and that way you could use it in landscape mode or if there's only one you could rotate it like that and use it in a uh, portrait configuration. And I believe the correct nut size for the top of the tripod is a quarter inch nut with 20 inch or 20 count threads. The stand itself is made out of half inch pipe with half inch fittings. What you'll need to make this stand is a five foot section of half inch pipe. You're going to need two end caps, four elbows, one T joint. That's it. Now the only thing that's glued on this stand are these two end plugs and this joint right here I'll get into a minute. The reason I glued these two end plugs on, end caps, is because I filled these two legs with sand and then I put um, just a little plug of hot glue in the end to hold them, the sand from falling out. The dimensions on the stand are as follows. The two base legs are about one foot long with an end cap on each end. Then I attach the end uh, to the corner with a 90 degree. These are about three and a half inches long. This upper bar here is about 14 inches long. I have two 90s located here and here and then the stand itself. Um, when not in use, the stand can be folded down flat for storage. Like that, you could put it away. You can see that mine's uh, the center bar is a little bit long. You certainly could cut it down to make it a nice square, and you could certainly make this to any dimensions that you wanted to. Um, and I suspect that a lot of you are going to want to make it a lot shorter. One of the things I would do if you're going to make it shorter is I would offset this bar a little bit, I would make it shorter. Um, the smaller you shrink this, the camera is going to be out to the side and, and overhanging this leg. So if you shrink this down to make this about two inch long pipe or an inch and three quarter long pipe, get this bar coming up right from here and then you could bring it over and up. You certainly could shrink these down to about four inches and then make this side over here about two and a half, three inches and it would make the whole package very small. The only other part that's glued on this is this little piece of pipe here to space these two apart is glued into this elbow. And the reason I did this is right now this is set up to take uh, video in landscape mode. But if you wanted to, you can pop this mount off, pull this 90 off, and I wanted this little piece here to stay with this plug so this is open. I can remount this mount like this and now I can take the photos in the portrait mode. The whole project for the mount and the legs and all the fittings cost me less than $4. Um, I hope that uh, if you're going to make a smartphone mount that you uh, at least found some of this useful and maybe you'll have some uh, ideas that you take out of this to make your own mount. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Cheers.